Well, hey guys, happy Saturday. I'm on my way to the club. It's boiling, boiling hot out. And I've been getting some questions on my Instagram and in the comments, what is the difference between Retin-A and Retin-A Micro? Uh, so Retin-A and Retin-A Micro, they both have the same drug, tretinoin. And um, the only difference really, or the main difference is Retin-A Micro just came out later. They improved the formulation to make it less irritating. And it's less irritating and it's also more photo stable. So technically you can wear it during the daytime that we still typically advise you to wear it at night. Um, so yeah, that's basically the main difference. Oh, and Retin-A Micro is more expensive, <laughs> typically. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, they, the outcome is the same. Like, <clears throat> the end point is the same. Somebody else also asked me if I thought Tretinoin would ever become available over the counter. No, I don't think so. You know, tretinoin is is irritating, even Retin-A Micro, and there are a lot of things that can go wrong with using it. I know it's over the counter in other countries, but we have Adapalene over the counter here. Anyways, yeah, it's so hot. I have this scarf on. I didn't film an intro to the vlog from my apartment because I was busy, but I did film my outfit, so I'll insert that footage here for you guys. So here's my outfit to go run errands. I got this hat from Cooley Bar and I love it. It's basically a visor with a scarf attached to the top of it. Um, you'll get a better look at it maybe when I'm out and about. But I love it because I like, you know, I have long hair and I always have my hair like up in like a loose bun. And this I can just put on without really messing up my hair, but then the scarf will protect my hair. The scarf's UPF 50. I have on a tank top from Costco, and then I'm just wearing this UPF scarf so that I protect my arms um, while I'm out. And then I've got sunscreen on my legs. I'm wearing these little shorts that I got at Costco and these little shoes, sandals that I got at Costco. It's so hot. So yeah, it's my super hot and humid outfit of the day. And these sunglasses are from my FabFitFun box, which I have to say, you guys, I am using every single thing, including the ice roller, because it's been so hot, I use it to cool myself off. I run it, the ice roller thing, on my back, and it helps cool me down. <laughs> you guys, I have been loving the black garlic. I just eat it plain, as I showed you guys in last week's vlog, last weekend's vlog. It's so good. I'm afraid that it's gonna be one of those limited edition things at Costco and then I'm gonna have to source it from the Amazonian. <laughs> and you know that's gonna be expensive. Ew, somebody turned 50 and has a big balloon statue in the front yard. How cool is that? Congratulations, anonymous homeowner. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I've really been enjoying that, you guys. I highly recommend it. I know it looks weird and it's like, what is this? But try it. Try it if you, even if you don't, if you hate garlic though, don't try it. Because it does have a little bit of a garlic taste, but it's not strong. So yeah, what else was I gonna tell you guys? I just filmed a video this morning. That's why I didn't do the intro. I was busy with that. I filmed a traction alopecia video, so. Hopefully that um, is up or will go up next week. Yeah, anytime you're interested, anytime you think like you wish I would make a video on something, just search my channel because there's a good chance that I, I have made the video on it. Like I, I'm constantly getting questions. Please make a video on dry acne prone skin, but I have a video on that. And when I put out that video, I've been getting a lot of requests for it. And when I put it out, YouTube was like, your audience has no interest in this video. And I don't know if it's something to do with the thumbnail or what. And all you have to do is just go in the search bar, Dr. Dre, whatever your topic of interest is. There's a good chance I've spoken on it. Same thing with product reviews. Although product reviews can get out like, here's the thing, I review a lot of products when I'm in the store. And that's kind of hard to call out in the title and the thumbnail. Um, so yeah, if I tell you I've reviewed it and you can't find it, it's probably in a store video. Um, and the reason I like doing those is because I don't want to have to buy a whole line only to tell you that I don't recommend it. <laughs> it's easier for me to talk about it in the store based on the ingredients, like why you shouldn't waste your money on it. Yeah, so like for example, I reviewed 
Olaplex in a video on Sephora hair care products. Shop with me for hair care products at Sephora. But I will get questions, review Olaplex, review Olaplex. And I try and guide people through that video, but I don't think they watch it. And like, I don't, I guess I could make a video on Olaplex talking about it, because that's, there's a lot of products there, but. You guys, here, let me turn down the AC. Oh, punish myself. I know it's loud. Um, I did my rebounder, a rebounder workout last night. Slept like a rock, like a rock. It's a rock, like a rock. That thing has such a soporific effect. Like when you're on it, it doesn't really feel like you're working out, but afterwards, it's like, whoo, I am tanked. I, I don't know. Like I do different moves on the rebounder that I've kind of come up with and made up myself, and I'm not like comfortable sharing them with people because I don't know how like user friendly they are for people of different like you know I've just kind of made up these moves is what I'm saying and like they're kind of like ballet inspired so I don't know like if you're new to the rebounder and you don't have a ballet background I feel like it could be you, you know you might like injure yourself so I'm a little worried to share that <laughs> um, but basically I like hop on one leg I do this like double dutch move on the rebounder and then I have these little five pound weights I do bicep curls while bouncing or running in place on the rebounder and that it doesn't sound like it would be hard but it is because you have the rebounder like oh we're gonna go over a ton of potholes here just a word of warning I don't know what's going on here this road just gets badder and badder and badder anyways yeah um, it doesn't sound like it would be hard to run in place on the rebounder with just five pound weights like this bicep curls but it's something to do with the resistance from the rebounder puts resistance on your bicep with the curl and gives you like a little bit of extra and so I've really been enjoying that. I hate lifting weights. It's just not my favorite thing. I'm not into like weightlifting, but it's so important for, for women to do some kind of weight bearing exercises. So this has been really good. Ooh, big pot holder, big pot holder, <laughs> pot holder. is hot what the flip mode there is a hubcap just sitting there I thought somebody man took it upon themselves to put it over there and get it out of the road so we don't hit it I'm tempted to try parking in the garage instead of the lot because it's so hot I feel like that might keep my car cooler but something tells me that that garage is probably full I'm gonna try it. What do I have to lose? Guys, we scored a spot in the garage. I'm glad for that. I'm grateful for that. Because that means less walking across the hot parking lot. Whoa, check it out. A Bluetooth sound table. What in the world? Smart home speaker and charging table. <laughs> Hmm. All right. No chilling like a villain. It looks itchy. So our Costco has uh, reintroduced free samples, you know, like behind a cage, but because of like the social distancing, they give out fully sized package stuff, like in the package. Costco has back to school stuff, Moleskine six pack, cashier journal, hot light, wireless charging. Ooh. Papermain Ink Joy. The tip on these is just a little too thick for my liking. Papermain Flare. Oh, it's the uh, collaboration, 38 count. Let's see color Sharpies. Ooh, write and erase. That's handy. 
I learned, really learned. <laughs> I When I study, I haven't studied in a long time, but I always eat, would utilize a dry erase board and write things out from memory as a tool to memorize things. So it's really helpful. Oxo salad spinner. Mm, Jen Shapen, Costco is uh, is watching your videos. <laughs> She's always using one of those to clean her veggies. Ooh, mandolin grater. These, you guys, I have. I have the black ones. Highly recommend. Ooh, I need some new Pyrex bowls because I don't like these ridgy ones. Can I live with ridges? $14.99? I think I might. I think I might spring. <clears throat> I think I might spring for it. That's a good deal. Let's not pick it up one handed. The rebounder hasn't been hasn't been that successful. <clears throat> Head caught that kind of looks like a doggy rebounder. <laughs> Claw friendly. Ooh, they misspelled and waterproof with breathable mesh center. Hmm. Bougie. $27.99. Wow. Yep, here it is. So good, you guys. Polar. Best before 2022. Are these really that good? I see everybody raving about these. I'm not much of a chip fanatic, so I've not really been interested. But comment below and if you're a fan. Ooh, look at all of these noodles. Spicy noodle, udon noodle, chapaguru, spicy seafood, seafood. Noodles. My vegetable curry with fragrant jasmine rice. Hooey, 21% of your daily sodium in one serving. No thanks. I wonder if those are good. Are they vegan or did they put like egg in it or something? Here to be. World Gourmet Meal Pots. And here we have Taiwanese noodles. Noodle Palooza. Well, hey guys, I am back from Costco. It is hot, but parking in the garage made a huge difference. I'm totally going to try and snag a spot in there in the future, at least for the duration of of sweat sesh, aka summer. First of all, I snagged some frozen rice cauliflower and I also got these two personal watermelon, although I didn't realize they were organic. Those tend to be more expensive. Anyways, Ibotta currently has a rebate for any watermelon, so I definitely am gonna take advantage of that. Ibotta is the rebate app that I use. It's basically a way to get cash back off of grocery purchases. It's totally free. And you just scan your receipt into the app and you get cash back on items. And I've gotten a ton back. And you guys said, somebody said in the comments, somebody mentioned in the comments that they signed up for it and they've already gotten $40 cash back. Anyways, watermelon is on Ibotta, so I'm taking advantage of that. It's got some. I also got the organic spring mix. Um, I got some romaine because I've totally bent on that. Uh, the organic mix squash. I love that. So good. I love to shred it. And I also got some more of these bear apple chips. Many of you have been turned on to the bear apple magic. Let's hope Costco doesn't take them away. I've also really been into these Zespri kiwis, sun golds. So much better than regular kiwi. And these are currently on Ibotta, so I'm going to get a rebate on those as well. I saw this in somebody else's uh, Costco shop with me video and I've been wanting it to try it because you guys know I love the Rhythm Superfood Beet Chips and you know I am a diehard cauliflower fanatic. So I went ahead and got, they, they finally got these in. Um, there's, it's just cauliflower and sea salt. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying those out. I also got some blueberries and strawberries. Love my fruits. And I got these Pyrex bowls you guys saw me eyeing in there. 
I am in need of some. And this looks like a good mixture of eight. It was only like $15, I think is what I, I should go. Let me check the, let me check the receipt here. Yeah, the Pyrex bowls were $14.99. The um, strawberries were $3.49. The blueberries were $6.99. The cauliflower bites were $6.99. The kiwi was $4.29. The bear apple chips were $9.89. But that's how many apples? That's kind of expensive actually now that I'm paying attention. 14, I guess that's not too bad. 14 apples worth. The squash was $6.99. The romaine was $3.29. The spring mix was $3.39. That's a really good deal. This stuff is so good. Um, the watermelon was $6.99 and the frozen rice cauliflower was $7.89. Yeah, Costco, great deals. If you are a produce fanatic like myself, I, yeah. All right, I just submitted my receipt. See, it's 55 cents again. Not gonna get wealthy all at once, but Little by little, it pays off. Sometimes you can get a lot of cash back. Like with that Love Grown bean cereal I really like from Kroger. It was on sale at Kroger. And then I purchased it. And when I purchased it, Kroger gave me a, a coupon to get more. So I got more using the coupon and the sale price at Kroger plus the cash back on Ibotta. I ended up getting two boxes of that Love Grown cereal, which is really expensive. The bean cereal that doesn't have anything but beans in it, um, which is really expensive. I ended up getting that for like two boxes for like $1.50. So that was a great one. But a lot of times it'll be like, you know, 15 cents on any type of apple and like I'll take it <laughs> but I kind of want to try the cauliflower bites on camera let's get the ring light <laughs> all right I'm gonna play a squat try this out in this bag you get six servings one serving is 90 calories seven grams of fat six grams of carbohydrate 135 milligrams of sodium which for a salty snack is not horrific I mean those noodles were like just begging for hypertension but anyways Two grams of protein, six grams of carbohydrate. Let's give them a try -Z. Side note, regular cauliflower is amazing. Well, amazing, but it's really good to just chop it up in the florets, put it in the air fryer for a few minutes, and then take it out. Don't put anything, you don't have to put anything on it. I mean, after you take it out, you can put sauces on it if you want, but yeah, it's really good. Ooh. Smells like cauliflower. It kind of has that smell. <laughs> Looks good. Cool. All right. Let's give it a try. See. cauliflower but this has a strong cauliflower taste so if you don't like the taste of cauliflower or you have to have it you know heavily seasoned and prepared a certain way to mask the cauliflower taste this is not going to be for you it's not too too salty which I like but I was hoping it would be a little more chewy it's really kind of hard which I guess is what you want in a snack like this I'm not mad. Rhythm, you did a pretty good job on this. My favorite is their, the unsalted beet chips, just beets, love those. But the watermelon <laughs> ruined a perfectly good thing there. But yeah, I think I might buy that again. We'll see. Snacks full of life. What would you guys say if I tried out different vegan stuff foods from Costco on camera? Wouldn't that be fun like in my vlogs? because I go to Costco like you guys could put in special requests and I could just try things out here on the blog it just would have to be vegan that would be the only requirement um that would be fun because sometimes you see things in Costco and maybe you're like 
should I commit, should I not? Because it's a pretty large number of servings that you would be stuck with if you didn't like it. I could do the dirty work for you guys. Sorry about that, my battery died and I had to change the battery. I don't remember, I, I was saying something about testing out vegan Costco foods. You know like in my vlogs when I go to Costco, you guys could like chime in the comments like requests of certain items. Um, that might be fun. Um, I would enjoy doing that. I'll probably do it anyway whether you ask me or not. I just unboxed the Pyrex bowls. They came with a safety and usage instructions. Wow. I always thought bowls were self-explanatory, but apparently not. Um, yeah, these are actually really nice. I I have two Pyrex bowls currently, but I chipped one of them, and so I was looking to replace it. And so the set, I'm really, I actually really like it. I was thinking I wouldn't care for the ridging, but it's nice. It's kind of um, just, it almost has a subtle green hue. Am I kind of seeing that? And I like these festive lids. I have a special home for them, which I need to organize down here. Kind of a mess there with my shredder spiralizers. Yeah, I guess it's not too bad. Wow, there are a lot of rules that come with Pyrex. Um, I guess if I followed the rules, maybe I wouldn't have to replace them as frequently. <laughs> Probably. Oh, are you afraid of the dog? Isn't that a show on Nickelodeon? Hey guys, it is the end of the night. I, my face mask here. I uh, took my shower and I'm gonna go to sleep now. I had a seemingly productive day. I went by very quickly. I hope you all enjoyed the Costco run. I realized today it was like a hundred and over a hundred degrees out. So it was a hot one, but I have my apartment super cool so it's just kind of a juxtaposition of extremes if you will seeing as it's so hot i think i should uh put my welly wisher doll in her bathing suit tomorrow so you know she's summer ready i got her that cute bathing suit i saw on etsy they also had this adorable unicorn floaty for the welly wisher i was tempted to get that but I I didn't, but yeah, that was really adorable. I don't think it's available anymore. There used to be this Cabbage Patch Kid doll that would get a tan. I wonder if they still make that type of Cabbage Patch Kid doll because it sends a terrible message to kids that like tanning is safe. I hope they've done away with that doll. But yeah, it would get a tan. Like it had some kind of, I don't know, UV activated dye in its little plastic body that would uh, bronze on UV exposure and it had a little swimsuit and that was like in the commercial I remember the doll would get a tan line yeah it's dangerous anyways guys I'm getting the zero minute light so I guess that means I need to shut up I hope you all had fun this weekend it's like the weekend's not over we still have tomorrow I hope you had fun this Saturday and you enjoyed this vlog if so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.